Okay, so first of all, before I say anything, I'd like to say the fact that I hate that I have to cut out a lot of the video, so I have to skip out a lot of this guy's points because, for one, I don't want to be making a 35-minute uh, a video because nobody wants to watch that. But uh, obviously, no one please take offense to uh, anything that I say because about 90% of it is a joke, but sometimes people say something so incredibly stupid that I just have to absolutely mock them. But regardless... If you're new here, you know there's a, uh, a little red button, so uh, you can press it. And if you really like me, you can uh, you can also press the uh, notification bell. That'll help out a lot too. But anyway, let's begin. There is something new that's come over to the United States and has actually captured the minds and the imagination of every single child. And you know what? It's not new at all. Japanese kids have been watching this thing since 1995. It started out as a cartoon, went to a comic book, they made it into a video game, went to toys, collectible card game. Now, praise God, there's even a, a movie on it. And it was started in 1995. It's not new, but it's new to kids, and they're eating it up. And it's called Pokemon. Okay, so first of all, I'd like to say that I absolutely love this guy's haircut. It's the best I've ever seen. But um, second, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be one of the easiest like videos when it comes to actually making like arguments against this. Because first of all, there were multiple things that he's already said that just weren't true at all. Because he said that it started out as a cartoon. That is completely untrue. It started off as a video game. Then they made an anime based on that video game. Obviously, everything else that he listed, I honestly don't know. I, uh, I'm not so much of a, a Pokemon fan that I know absolutely every single day of everything that has ever been made by Pokemon. But I do know that that wasn't true at all because I know that I'm pretty sure the anime wasn't released until like four or five years after the game came out. That could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. But... I'm pretty sure that, that that's just completely wrong overall. Pokemon. And it stands for Pocket Monster. And it even made the cover of Time Magazine. Now, the first thing I want you to notice is, do you notice any symbol up there that you've seen before? The spiral. And it stands for what? Male fertility. Okay? Now. This thing is actually called Polyworld, but they actually had another name for it before they renamed it. When this creature first came out, it was called Hypno. All right, so there's a uh, another insanely untrue fact from uh, from Mr. Um, Amazing Hairdo here. That was um, really definitely true that Polly's World's name was originally going to be Hypno. Mm-hmm. You know, a simple uh, a Google search would disproved that and it was originally going to be named aquanaut not not hypno and in fact there is a pokemon that's called hypno but i mean it makes sense that his name was polyworld instead of aquanaut because if you think about it you know he's got he's got a little uh little whirl right on the middle of his uh his belly so i can kind of understand why they went with uh polyworld instead of uh, Aquanaut, or in your case, um, Hypno, you know? Now, what we need to do then, everybody go all again. Oh, I know, he's cute, isn't he? Little satanic tail. And they tell you that if you catch them all, you become a Pokemon master. Listen, parents, that word master will appeal to any child because they can become a somebody they can become a master and you know what if you're the master of something you don't need mom you don't need dad you don't need grandparents you don't need aunts and uncles you don't need school okay here's a uh, another completely uh, irrational statement from this man um so this is a really weird one because he's saying that you know that you shouldn't be a master of anything but he's like kind of saying it like you shouldn't have any sort of independence on your own or anything like that. 
you shouldn't be able to uh, enjoy yourselves in the way you aren't told to. He's basically saying that you're supposed to be exactly the exact puppet that the world wants you to be. And that we're, if, if that's the way everyone's thinking, then the world's never going to advance itself because everyone's just doing what they're told. Then what's the world just going to become? It's going to become an exact replica of what it was the day before. Every single day, it's just going to repeat itself. If what he's saying is correct, and if that was enforced into the point where no one could have any sort of like independence, then the world is just going to be the same forever. And that's incredibly stupid. I mean, I guess I get where he's coming from, but at the same time, that's still the dumbest thing I think I've heard all day. I don't, I don't see how he's saying that's a good thing. It just, it just mind boggles me how he thinks that being a master of just a literal video game. That's like, that's like if I was to say that I was good at a video game, like I'm the master of a uh, of Fortnite, bro. Like we all love Fortnite, of course. So if I'm the master of Fortnite, I'm better than everyone. That's just a flex. That so shows that I put work into something and I'm proud of it. You know what I'm saying? So if he's saying that you can't be the master of Pokemon because you're all of a sudden a, a Satan worshiper if you are, that just makes no sense, man. Like, you're confusing me. It's, it's like if you accomplish something, you have the right to call yourself good at that or the master of it. He goes on to say that that you're considering yourself your own god of your own world. And that's another untrue statement. You're not taking a place of, of God. You're just you're just being good at something that you you find interesting. I <laughs> Look at the yellow. What do you see? Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Look here. All seeing eye. Everybody see that? Up here is the clenched fist. Symbol for rebellion, anarchy. Right down here is a powerful witchcraft symbol where my finger is. Powerful witchcraft symbol, and it's a symbol for fire. Down here is another powerful witchcraft symbol. Actually a new age symbol. They call a new age symbol for earth. Okay, which is a green relief. And down at the bottom here, this blue ball down in here, is the symbol for energy of water. And water transforms into wind. Earth, wind, and fire, the three basic elements of all witchcraft. Just when I thought it wouldn't get any dumber, it did. So first of all, he's calling uh, a clenched fist a, uh, a sign of rebellion when... Uh, I think it would be more accurate to assume that it could be a sign of, you know, maybe fighting type, which is what it represents, is maybe fighters, people who, you know, a boxer. This guy looks like he loves boxing, you know? That, that would be a good example of a, of a, bo a boxer, is a fighting type, right? So this uh, rebellion, I don't get where he's getting that from, but remember, it's not the fighting type anymore. It's the rebellion type. Keep that in mind. Second of all, apparently fire is demonic now. I didn't know that. One of the world's best sources of energy is apparently demonic. That's some uh, some new information I'm taking in. You know, you learn something new every day. Also, somehow water just magically transforms into wind. So he could manage to uh, connect that to grass, fire, and wind. I don't, I don't get where he got that from. It just transforms. You really, man? I. I don't get that. How how does the 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 water just turn into wind? Unless it's some sort of like stupid like chemistry thing, unless he's talking about like maybe water vapor. And that still wouldn't really be related to wind. That's stupid. And then he's also calling that earth. That's grass, not earth. It literally represents a grass type. And the eye does not represent an all seeing eye, it represents the psychic type. Which I guess he could use as an argument towards Satanism or whatever. But at the same time, that's still really stupid because I don't think, I think he's just taking it the wrong way. I don't think the psychic type was made intentionally to seem demonic in any way. It was just made to sort of be a new, 
another type, you know, that represents Pokemon like Alakazam or Mewtwo. I, I, I don't get where, where he's saying that could be satanic either. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. Um, I, it's really longer than I want it to be. I wanted it to, uh, to aim around maybe seven minutes, but we went to 10. So, you know, that's cool. Anyway, like I said at the beginning, if you're new, you know, there's a little red button. Hit it for me. And if you really like me, you can hit the like button and maybe hit the uh, the notification button as well. That'll help out a lot because, you know, you'll be the first to uh, see when I upload a new video. Anyway, see you in the next one. Bye.